nice You should open your heart that wanna see what you so like Low life, but I'm telling you to go to here when What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Ben So today we are talking about a pretty neat new update that was recently released a few days ago And if I was to actually bring my iPhone closer, you can see that we are talking about watchOS 10.0.2 this is the update and this is the average update size you can expect on your different Apple Watch devices. And this update is actually limited, meaning you might actually not be able to see it if you go into your settings and try to do a software update. And the reason for this, I actually wanna give you a brief preview or history about the release of watchOS 10 and how Apple released it. So this is the month of September, so on September, 18th apple released the official public release of watchOS 10 and then three days later on september 21st apple actually released watchOS 10.0.1 now this update was actually a big one although it was a point of a point of an update if you go into your settings and you haven't yet updated and you are updating from any other version of watchOS, you can see watchOS 10.0.1 came in at over one gig. On this Apple Watch Series 7, it comes in at 1.2 gigs, which is quite substantial, right? It's a pretty big update. And the reason for that and why Apple released watchOS 10.0.1 so fast like three days after releasing watch os 10 is because a number of users on the apple watch series 5 and series 6 complained about battery usage on their apple watch devices so apple tried to fix some of the underlying bugs and issues that were draining the battery on the initial release of watch os 10 with 10.0.1 and then also a number of users complained about different complications you can see Snoopy here is adaptive. This watch face is one of the best and it's adaptive in the sense that it's supposed to mimic what's happening around you or what you have on your calendar. So for example, if it's raining, of which it is right now in my location where I am, then Snoopy is supposed to mimic that. You can see the weather that I have here, that it's drizzle. So it's slightly rainy and you saw how Snoopy mimics that. If you wake up in the morning and you want to perhaps have a shower and you want to have a coffee, Snoopy will mimic that. So there was an issue with the initial release of watchOS 10 when it came to the watch faces that are adaptive depending on what you have at your calendar or in your activities or location. So it wasn't working properly on the initial release of watchOS 10 and Apple fixed that with watchOS 10.0.1 and it also fixed some different complications because with watchOS 10, we got this new widget section that is also supposed to be adaptive and update as you go on. So you can see this weather complication is supposed to be adaptive and then depending on what you have on your calendar or event they will switch priority becoming top and bottom so watchOS 10.0.1 was released three days after the release of watchOS 10 to try and fix some of those issues and for the Apple Watch series 5 and series 6 a number of people complained about battery so now what brings us to watchOS 10.0.2, the update that I'm actually talking about today. This update was released actually five days after the release of watchOS 10.0.1 cause 10.0.1 came out on September 21st. And then on September 26, Apple released watch watch always 10.0.2 but unfortunately if you have an apple watch that supports watch always 10 and that isn't the newly released apple watch models that is the apple watch series 9 and the apple watch ultra 2 and you try and go into your settings go to general and go to do a software update you actually won't be able to see watch always 10.0.2 and this is because this update, if you actually look up watchOS 10.0.2, you see that this watchOS 10.0.2 was released only for the Apple Watch Series 9 and Apple Watch Ultra 2. So if you don't have the Apple Watch Series 9 and Apple Watch Ultra 2, you won't be able to get this update. But 
This doesn't mean that this update will be exclusively limited to just the Apple Watch Series 9 or the Apple Watch Ultra 2 because we've seen something like this happen when it comes to iOS when the new iPhone 15 models were released, right? Apple actually released an update that was iOS 17.0.2 and that update was initially released exclusively for the new iPhone 15 and 15 Pro models but a few days after then iOS 17.0.2 was released for other iPhone models. This is the iPhone 14 Pro and I got the update I believe after a week of the release of iOS 17.0.2 and basically the same thing is expected when it comes to watchOS 10.0.2 although it's a limited release and it should be available for other devices that is the Apple Watch Series 4 and later that supports watchOS 10 to fix some of the issues and bugs that people have reported. Now basically on the release page of this watchOS 10.0.2 you can see that Apple mentions that this is an update that includes bug fixes and important security updates for your Apple Watch and if we were to go to like uh, Safari and go to the Apple security page you'll be able to see what they told us with regards to this update watchOS 10.0.2 right here so you can see that this update has no published CVE or common vulnerabilities and exposures so in a sense Apple isn't disclosing what bugs and issues or security patches that this update is trying to resolve and you can see for now it's available for the Apple Watch Series 9 and Ultra 2 so I think the reason why Apple is doing this is because the other series of the Apple Watch haven't yet got the update yet so if you have like the Apple Watch Series 7 or the Apple Watch Ultra first gen or even the Apple Watch Series 4 all the way to the Apple Watch Series 8. You can see when you try to do a software update, you would definitely won't be seeing watchOS 10.0.2. So if Apple told what this issue is or this update is trying to resolve, then those that haven't yet got a chance to update to it might be exposed. So once this update comes out to all the other Apple Watch series that isn't the Apple Watch Series 9 or Apple Watch Ultra 2 since they already have the update, then Apple maybe will let us know what bugs and issues this update is fixing and what are the security patches that Apple is actually resolving with this update. So that's actually a good thing that they don't publish what security patches are there in the update if it's not yet released to all the other supported devices. And uh, basically there is an issue that a number of users that had updated to the newly released watchOS 10.0.1 was still facing and that had to do with the weather complication. So for example, if I was to go into my um, modular ultra watch face here, you can see I have, you know, my weather complication there and a number of people even on watchOS 10.0.1 have reported that this is still not updating in real time and even though your Apple Watch and iPhone might be synced through the Apple Watch application, the iPhone on iOS 17 updates, but the watch on watchOS 10.0.1 still has issues updating on the weather complication or the weather widget. So this issue hasn't yet been resolved for the older ones that, that are on watchOS 10.0.1. But the good thing is when I was doing research and I did my background knowledge, I found that a number of users that had the same issue on watchOS 10.0.1 and had got the new Apple Watch Series 9 and the Apple Watch Ultra 2, that issue has actually been resolved for them. So whether it's on the iPhone, on the Apple Watch app, or whether it's on the widget section, or if it's on a watch face complication, this is now updating in real time. And basically when the update of watchOS 10.0.2 comes out to everyone pretty soon, I'm sure it's just a few days away, or if it's not a few hours away actually, and then this issue of the weather app and complication will be resolved for everyone. So for you to update to watchOS 10.0.2 when it comes out to all supported series, you will need an Apple Watch Series 4 and newer. And uh, when it comes out, I'll cover it as an update for everyone 
but for now at the time i'm recording this video this update is limited just for the apple watch series 9 and the new apple watch ultra 2 so that's about it for me guys just a brief update as to why this update was released but you might not be seeing it on your apple watch devices if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace Drunk and I'm flexing, I'm lady, cause life is a blessing. I'm currently counting my blessing, ascending for heavens. I'm headed away from the universe. I'm coming back, not as human things. Came to the touch, I'm a sinner, but not a beginner. Though every day is a beginning. I'm critically breathing, I'm dusty, I'm kicking my inches. You nasty, I spit on your Misery home, you. Misery home, you. I never liked you, and you never liked me. Stay warm. But nothing contagious is my anger. Riding around in the city.